Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a fun little haul. So once we had got through the entire month of January for our freeze over in the Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group, I rewarded myself with a small, small-ish um, order from, of course, the lovely Sandra over at Scrapbook Your Joy, just, you know, the province next to me over here. And I really, I had been watching people uh, play with the Simple Stories, uh, Simple Vintage Weather Garden. And I've not got, uh, I did not buy really anything in the Simple Vintage collections except for the Simple Vintage Lemon Twist last year. And it's a vastly different color scheme, mood, and feel to the Weathered Garden. And there are many, many collections in the Simple Vintage um, series, and they are all beautiful. But I thought I would treat myself to this one. And I did, because I've seen so many people playing with the gorgeous Vicky Booten Fernwood collection. I, I did, I had to get some of that, but I'll do that in um, another video. And I know you've probably seen all of these, but I thought I would just pop on here and share anyway, because as you know, I like to go through the paper with you and tell you how I think I might be able to use it. And I will also, of course, as I always do down below, I will have the link to uh, scrapbook your joy the shop um, as well as the Facebook group because the Facebook group is very active and there's lots of fun challenges going on and if you are in Canada or the States um, $75 in Ontario and Quebec will get you free shipping everywhere else in Canada and the US $100 will get you free shipping and you will hardly have time to um, sneeze <laughs> before your order will arrive. Really, the service, Sandra's service is, is just, just, just amazing. So, what did I get? I got the 12 by 12 collection kit, uh, which has uh, 12 sheets of double-sided paper and the sticker sheet. So, that gives me some fun stickers here to play with and you can see that it's quite an earthy almost neutral I would call this sort of like a neutral color scheme you've got some beautiful mossy greens uh golden yellows some bluish gray um sort of a a, a grayish or a beige uh going over to I guess maybe that would actually I would call that taupe that's what I would call that taupe. So just some lovely, subdued, slightly distressed. I have a feeling this might be great for some vintage scrapbooking. And you will notice that I did not get the die cuts this time. Because in the 12 by 12 as we're going to see, there are quite a few cut aparts, as is... Um, the case with all of the gorgeous Simple Stories collections. They also have... they not also often have as the B side of the papers, they have cut aparts so that if the pattern side is not what you want, you have some cut aparts and vice versa. And um, I often don't use all of the cut aparts, so they would be perfect to do some fussy cutting. We'll see that in a moment. So I got the sticker sheet. I got the decorative brads. You know, I love, love these. And I love mixing these with Dotty About Flare, Flare Relicious pieces because that gives me different sizes in the circular elements. And I love, love, love that. And there's a few bits of chipboard here as well. Then I have, oh, wait a minute. This is Vicky Booten, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so that doesn't belong here. There we go. Let me just go check then if I'm not lying to you. Hang on. I'm not lying to you. I did not get the die cuts. Um, and I, so I got just a very nice small amount. I'm very proud of myself. So the brads and the chipboard. So that gives me stickers, chipboard, and brads. So I think that gives me quite a bit 
to play with. And now let's just have a look at the papers and see what um, we might be able to do with that. So there you go. Look at this already. This is almost done for you. What I like to do sometimes with this type of paper, if I use it as a background, is I will just use my X-Acto knife here and I'll be able to pop a photo in there, then a nice title and very little embellishment is needed. And I love the distressed. This is lovely, lovely, quite, quite, quite neutral. Almost, I would call this almost monochromatic, definitely. And I do love it. And then this, ooh, this is very, very pretty as well. These gorgeous butterflies. But now, hmm. So what I guess what I could do is sort of bring this down and you use this side uh, on a page or this and then use parts of this as well. We'll have to see, although I'm really leaning towards using this as a background. Beautiful floral here. And this is not black. It's quite a dark gray. It's even lighter than charcoal. Just lovely with the mossy green and the darker green and then the uh, off-white color. That's a very, very plain. We could fussy cut some of these flowers as well. I'm not sure that I would use this as a background. I think this, to me, is definitely to be used as a chunk, uh, you know, one-third, two-thirds, or a half-and-half, half, or a diagonal. It would be very, very nice in a diagonal with... Um, just a cardstock as the other portion, as the other triangle of that. And then a lovely newsprint type um, paper as well. So this one is perfect because I think this I can definitely use both sides, use half. So either as the diagonal or as a one-third, two-thirds. There we go, a lovely sort of, uh, this one is called Every Little Thing in the cement color. I guess this is almost like a cement color in the background and it's a little bit distressed with the lovely mossy green and darker green. Oh, this is very, very, very pretty. Now, I think I would probably use this side, not necessarily as a background, but uh, on more than one layout because I don't find this, you know how I am with my plaids and ginghams and that I like the patterns to be tighter when I use them as backgrounds. Although in reality, this, this would work quite well as a background. Oh, this is just beautiful. I saw Adam put this in uh, one of his kits, one of his page kits the other day, or was it backward? I, I can't remember whether it was scrap backwards, maybe scrap backwards, but he put this paper in the back and I thought, oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. You could, you could frame this. You could frame this, but it is definitely just a beautiful, as is this. So now that brings a dilemma because, no, I think you have to use this and maybe just put a photo here. But this, I think, has to be an artistic photo for sure or um, a heritage, definitely maybe a heritage layout. Now, my grandmother um, was a, an, a very, very accomplished artist. Uh, pianist as well. I don't know if I have a lot of photos, but I certainly have one uh, piece of her art, which is a big, uh, in French we call it a paravin, you know, when you have that thing that you used to change behind in the early 1900s. I'll dig that out and I think that might be a lovely photo to get done on here. Another lovely floral, and this is more of an olive olive green on this side and ooh, there we go another one of these gorgeous background papers where it's done for you so i think i'm privileging this i do like this um but definitely it would only be in a small area i find it a little dark um the the olive green is is a bit i would have liked it i think to be uh closer to uh, a golden color than maybe the olive green. Anyway, I do find this, in the best possible way, a little dingy. 
I, I don't find it's colorful um, enough, so I think we might be using this side. Ah, uh, now this though, this is lovely. This I do love. Now you see, it's, see? See how much brighter um, that this is? So if we'd even gone for the mossy green, so yeah, there you go. But I do love, love, love this. And then we have a tighter uh, gingham here on the back, which is quite lovely as well. Let me put it on this side though, I think, because this is very, very, very pretty. Oh, I've seen this used many, many times as well. And this is just, just beautiful. You could use this as a strip. You could definitely use this as a background and ooh, this is beautiful as well. Quite, quite, quite dramatic. I don't think I would use that as a background, but it's beautiful. Although you could, you really could with just a, a, a lovely uh, focal point photo uh, matted in black with a title in this lovely, I don't know if I have any thicker in that lovely sort of mossy minty green and you could have something quite, quite dramatic and beautiful. But this side is also lovely. There we go. One more here, which is, again, in that little gold. But it's sort of a... Now, you see, over here, I was calling it olive green. Now, yeah, you see, it is different. It is definitely a different color. This, this is more of that golden. And I do prefer that golden yellow this butterflies and the plants so the the vintage simple vintage series have a bit of a theme with you know the butterflies and and the newsprint and the distressed and sort of the layers upon layers already done on the backgrounds for you which is oh this is pretty this is quite, this is a background for sure i do i really really do love this and now you see we are getting into the cut aparts, which could, oh, see now this, this is very pretty. It's a lovely paper, but I honestly do think I would like to use the cut aparts on this. And, you know, here I could actually just fussy cut out these butterflies. I could fussy cut out the heart, although I think I would like to use that as a card. This area could be fussy cut out. So there's quite a bit of versatility here to use different sizes of journaling or cards and some fussy cutting of some embellishments as well another one here this is all three by fours and again i could do some fussy cutting or i could use them as journaling cards or pocket cards oh but then this now you see this is a beautiful background as well. So I might do a little bit of both. Be happy in the moment. I do kind of like that. Um, I do love this little heart, so I might want to use that. So we'll have to see. I think this might be a case uh, of a half and half. And then we have two more here. So this one, uh, four by fours. Beautiful. Now look this. Now you see this? This I would fussy cut out. And this would make a lovely, lovely embellishment on a vintage page or a heritage page. Uh, this I might use as a 4x4 four four on its own. You see this I probably would not use. So that gives me a little bit of... Oh, and this is beautiful as well. So this would definitely be using a little bit of both. And then last but not least, the four by six or six by four, however you want to say. So again, uh, see, I don't think I would use this uh, card. Um, I don't know if I would use this. I might, or I could fussy cut out all the little details. This card I would definitely use. Uh, I could use this one as well, I think. And then we have this lovely butterfly paper, which is similar but different to... No, not at all. What am I talking about? Where did I see that? Where did I see that butterfly? 
similar there you go you see it is this paper but on more of a teal background so that's kind of lovely so i think here we could do a little bit of a mix as well so there you go my friends that is my little simple vintage weathered garden haul again from the lovely sandra over at scrapbook your joy um i really find that simple stories has been hitting it out of the park with both the simple vintage series now they are probably a little more specialized and definitely not to everybody's taste tell me have you bought any of the simple vintage uh, series which ones and are you enjoying working with them or are you more with the fun collections they've been having you know like the um, family fun the safe travels they've they've really in my opinion been doing a grand job in the last year or so so there you go my friends i will see you back here very very soon thanks for being here bye for now